Edmund Hawkinson, uh, the sculptor of uh, Slapshotless. Slapshotless. Sh Slapshotless. <laughs> Great. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about the uh, inspiration for the, the sculpture. Uh, well, the inspiration for it is is Olympic sculpture, ancient Greek uh, Olympic sculpture, things like the the discus thrower, um, and the the title is actually a play on the proper name for that sculpture, which is Discobolus. Um, so there, there's a direct connection there, but I also wanted to make obviously a connection with contemporary society, um, and taking the the quintessential Canadian winter sport of hockey, um, and effectively crashing it headlong into that ancient Greek image um, and this is what came out of it. The, the result is being uh, displayed at Pride House yes. in, in Vancouver and could you tell me a little bit about what that is? Uh, well Pride House will be, it'll actually be in Whistler, it'll be in the village of Whistler during the, the Olympics. Um, it's the first time in Olympic history that there's a dedicated space for gay, lesbian, transgendered, bisexual athletes, their fans, friends, anybody, and anybody that wants to, to drop into the, the uh, Pride House. Um, so in, in that sense, it's, it's, it really is a historic first. Um, and being able to be a part of that, um, it, it, it really is a, an enormous honor. Uh, anything you want to add about the sculpture? Or? You right. can't see this and not not have a sense of humor about it. Um, and that was intended right from the beginning, um, that there is an element of humor in it. Uh, but there is also an absolutely serious side, and that's what the sculpture represents. Um, and that's living just a, a, a life that's true and honest unto yourself, um, that you don't, you don't need to hide anything. Um, and, and being able to do that, I think, is really important for people to live a full life. Um, and that's what the, the sculpture is about. All right, thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Cheers. Great. And uh, Nick, you composed the, the soundtrack for uh, Slapshot as well. I did. How did you get involved with uh, the project? Um, uh, no, no, in mid-November, I, um, I played at a hardcore house fundraiser um, just with a trio playing background music. And I heard about the sculpture. Um, I hadn't seen it yet, but that it was going, I had the possibility of going to the Olympic uh, Pride House intrigued me. So. I was able to, um, even without seeing it, I, I sort of had an idea what it might be, and I made a couple copies of a, a possible song, um, which I sent to Edmund, and he said uh, he liked them, so I, I elaborated on the idea, and then I came up with the theme that is current. It's just, it's supposed to make it, whole, it's supposed to keep with the whole theme of the Olympics, and you know, it's very big, and it's supposed to be kind of an epic event, and when you listen to it, you want to be like, shivers down your spine type thing. You know, with the, the drum rolls and the big crashes and stuff. Um, one enhance the experience. So.